Dobar dan i dobro došli u moj cooking show. Today I will be making uh, eigematels, which is my childhood favorite soup. It's technically made out of the chicken, uh, some vegetables, and then we add the gnocchi to it. So in the past they used to use uh, like the chicken um, in the sense like the hard stomach and then drumsticks to make this soup but today it's hard to get to those pieces so we are just going to use the chicken thighs which are really the great for cooking so then you start by chopping your onion and your vegetables and putting the, and kind of uh, cooking them under hot oil this way like the vegetables release uh, a lot more juices so from the beginning uh, you don't want to add water to it uh, you just want to let the soup like all the vegetables to be cooking in their um, juice and then especially when you adding the chicken will release a lot more of their water so also you'll be chopping your meat in the bite-sized pieces and adding them to the pot and you're letting that all to cook um, and kind of add the salt pepper that's with hungarian pepper which adds like the color and the flavor to the soup and you will be just uh, letting it to to cook like that and just stir it up occasionally and then you see how much of the juices has the chicken released so this is what you kind of want it and you can let it cook for a little, like, a little time like this but just check it on occasionally you just don't want um, the juices like kind of evaporate and then you have burn and your pot so then also add the tomato paste i like that because it adds a special flavor to my soup uh, adding the green beans um, they are from my vegetable garden so they're fresh you can always buy them fresh in the grocery stores as well or you can use the uh, frozen ones if you're using frozen ones then just add them towards the end of the uh, cooking time then once you have all this um, then just add some water and you'll need as much as water like you know based on your pot and depend how many vegetables you have bring that to the boil and simmer for a little more time until your um, beans are done and in the meantime you'll be making gnocchi knedlice so there you're beating your eggs um, and then uh, add some milk and to that mixture we'll be adding flour so you started like by adding a couple of spoons of all-purpose flour and mixing it until it absorbs into the eggs and then you just continue like that until you get kind of nice thick consistency but it's still in a liquid form but you want to be um, able to scoop it up with a, with a spoon because that's how you're going to be dipping it into the boiling soup so just continue mixing it and also if you find like it's always a good testing you can uh, dip a little bit of the gnocchi into the hot soup and then if you find that it's not sticking together but it's kind of separating then just add a little bit more flour because you want to have a nice um, nice pieces so as you dip it into the soup this is how they supposed to stay um, so and then just continue until it's all done and then you will be just letting it simmer for a little bit more until the gnocchi are done and this is how they should look like so this is your soup it's ready uh, it's full of flavor you have everything you have your meat and you have your vegetables and your carbohydrates with the gnocchi so enjoy uh, hopefully you try to make it your own and if you find the benefit through my show then just please like share and subscribe and appreciate you this is just showing me your support enjoy the soup thank you for till the next time